Uh, this video is going to show you how to create a uh, curved beam and add a uh, curved rebar. Actually, there are many ways to, or there are different ways to add a curved bar to, uh, to a beam or to a curved beam. Uh, but uh, one of the easiest way is to, by using the uh, uh, rebar set. So let me just show you a um, uh, sample here. So let's say I have the poly beam. So one, two, three, and then middle button of your mouse. And then change this uh, shape to uh, uh, arc point, modify. So this one is a uh, uh, half circle uh, beam. And uh, again, the easiest way here is to use the rebar set. So from, from this uh, create crossing rebar, so you can identify the, the bar size and all this uh, uh, spacing. So all you have to do is to uh, select the uh, geometry. Okay. So just pick the uh, part and then pick the shape of the bar. So let's say... I'm going to add a U shape. So one, two, three by pressing the shift key and then pick one, two, and three and then middle button of your mouse and there you go. So you have now the uh, the curve rebar in the curve beam. And uh, to add the longitudinal, so you can create a longitudinal bar here. So let's say I'm going to change the color here. And then again, select the uh, shape, the geometry. And then let's say I'm going to pick the three sides again. One, two, and then three. And then middle button of your mouse. And then you're going to have now the longitudinal bar here. So to uh, change the uh, position of the longitudinal bar, so you can just simply select the uh, direct modification and then select this one. And then as you can see here, go to the... Uh, uh, contextual toolbar and then as you can see here move to outermost or innermost okay so you can uh, you can use this uh, option so for this uh, side you can change the uh, <coughs> uh, you can change the uh, the cover thickness so that uh, uh, the rebar will go inside the <coughs> Uh, the link okay or the main where we go inside the link okay so that's uh, one now uh, what if uh, in a different situation like a uh, not a full circular beam but uh, something like uh, there, there will be a uh, identified radius so I can use again the poly beam here so one two and then three middle button of your mouse and then this time I'm going to change this to uh, uh, rounding and then 1500 all right so with this 1500 I can add now the uh, a construction point for my reference later so I just go to edit and then add a construction point at any position so here this one and this one that one is the 1500 and then I'm going to copy this to 1,500 as well, and then add a circle, circular construction line, and then this point I'm going to uh, copy, rotate, pick this point, and then here uh, I'll put a negative uh, negative 15. Uh, let's say this one is six copy so now uh, <clears throat> this will be my reference later once I have the uh, the rebar set so in this kind of uh, uh, situation uh, the rebar set will not perform uh, as uh, you as you have seen earlier uh, as you can see here crossing bar so let's say uh, change the color again so pick this point and then one two and then three middle button of your mouse so if you notice here this one looks okay but 
if you look onto the other side then the reinforcement will be will not be in the proper place so all we have to do is to select the uh, direct modification and then in the river set all we know is uh, uh, there is a guideline here so this guideline I'm going to move this guideline to this uh, to the end point and as you can see here there will be a movement okay so this guideline I, I can uh, uh, again I'm going to select the guideline and then add a node here so this point I'm going to pick to here to the middle so as you can see here uh, I have the uh, uh, the construction point so I will just simply move it there and then this one this one I'm going to put that one to the one five okay sorry so I'm going to move this one also to the center okay so this one to the center and this point to the 1500 so you can see that it will be straight now and then here since I have a uh, some points here I can just simply add the node and then so that I can have a smooth transition of the the reinforcement so this one is also uh, quite handy and easy to do so there you go and then for the longitudinal again there's a limitation on this one because uh, in this case I cannot uh, if I pick this geometry I can only pick these two sides this side and this side and then middle bottom of your mouse so then there you have the longitudinal bar okay so this is how to add a uh, a rebar to a curved beam or we can say a curved rebar using the rebar set thank you